Dr. Jim Dew's research depends on small tropical freshwater minnows called zebrafish. They're only an inch in size, but they give genetic scientists a lot of power. The beauty about this fish is they develop really fast and from fertilization to adult takes two to three months. Zebrafish produce thousands of large and transparent embryos and its genome has been fully sequenced. That makes it easier to manipulate or remove genes and observe the effects. Recently we uncovered a new gene called SMIT1 and we demonstrated for the first time it is essential for uh, muscle contraction. If you remove this gene, you get paralyzed fish. Dr. Du hopes this information can be used to find new treatments or cures for muscle diseases in humans, like muscular dystrophy. Just by study those gene functions in fish and uh, we learn the mechanism, we learn what's the biological process, what are the genetic regulations and, uh, and hopefully someday we can either find a drug or we can do gene therapies and, uh, to help uh, humans with those type of uh, you know, pathological conditions. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.